Hello everyone, this is Gary and today we're looking at two professional keys for managers. Now I know how it is, you're a manager of a team, maybe you've been a manager for a while or you've just been recently appointed to the post of managing a team and you need to get your head around what it is to be professional and that's the thing I want to explore in this video. For me it really has two aspects. The first is that you have to follow what I call the three P's and I will cover those uh, in the video as we go forward. And the second aspect is you've got to be ethical about what you do. You've got to follow the ethics. So follow the three P's, follow the ethics. Those are the two professional keys for managers. Now, one of those three P's is professionalism. I just want to unpack that a little bit first. I think to be professional, you've got to be serious about your development as a professional. And for me, that means developing your own personal uh, professional development program, your PPD program. You've got to sit down and think, well, what are the skills and the range of skills that I need in order to do this job in a professional way? And you've got to arrange for yourself either to have training or you've got to arrange for opportunities so you get experience of or you've got to do some learning around the skill set needed to be professional in what you do. So in this video I'll be covering the three P's as I call them and I'll be covering the ethics that you need to follow in order to be professional in your job. Really it's as straightforward as that. So without further ado and with bated breath as they say in all good videos let's just get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. We're looking at two professional keys for managers. In other words, how to be professional as a manager. My tip always is to read the small print, but let's move on to the first key. So key one is you've got to follow the three P's, as I would put it, and they are professionalism. And what's that? Well, it's one of those things which is difficult to define, but you know it when you see it. It's like the proverbial elephant, very difficult to describe, but you will know one when you see one. You know when you're dealing with somebody who is being professional in what they do. You know that they are working to standards, personal standards often that they wish to maintain. You know that the standard of their work is high and that they won't accept work which is not to their standard. And you know the quality of their service as well as the quality of their products are always maintained to that standard and they take pride in what they do. So the other P I would suggest is perseverance. In other words, someone who's prepared to keep going to persevere until they achieve the standard that they want because they are proud about what they do. And finally, and oddly enough, it's not pride, but punctuality this is the third P. In other words, you turn up on time, you deliver on time, you do things well and to time. And those are the three P's that I would recommend. Be proud, to P, overall, about being professional, about your perseverance, and about your punctuality. Those are the three P's I would recommend. And then the second key is you've got to follow the ethics of all of that. The ethics of the three P's mean the following things. You never, ever, ever show inappropriate behavior in public or private with either team members or with clients. That is not what you do if you are professional. And you look and you sound the part, not just occasionally, but always. You look and sound the part always. You live the professionalism of your job, of your task. In other words, it becomes not merely a job or a task, but something about which you are professional. And you are going to be accountable for what you do. That's the ethics of being a professional. What does that mean? That means you deliver on your promises. You persevere, and you are punctual, you deliver on them on time and you are professional about how you tackle things. And being a professional 
It's as easy as that. Okay, so that was two professional keys for managers. In other words, how to be professional as a manager and what it is to be a professional. It's very easy to say, well, I know what a professional is, but the truth is, like the proverbial elephant, you only know one when you see one. And so it's worth just unpacking that as I have done. And just to recap, well, thanks for watching so far, but what I've said is really two things because there are two keys to it all. The first one is to follow the three P's. So that's the professionalism of the job. And for me, that's all about developing a personal professional development program for yourself. It's perseverance, being prepared to keep going, to persevere and to get the job done to achieve the objectives and the aims and the goals that you've been set as a manager or which you've set yourself. And finally, in an odd way, it's another letter P, it's punctuality. In other words, on time, being on time, expecting others to be on time and delivering on time. That's all tied up with punctuality. So those are the three P's you need to follow. Now the second key to being professional is all about the ethics. So you follow the three P's and you follow the ethics. And the first one is not to be anything other than appropriate in all that you do. It's all about your behavior in public and in private, both with your team members and with your clients. You've got to be ethical so that you build a brand for yourself, your own brand and your own reputation. Indeed, you need to look and sound the part always and in all circumstances. Why? Because you've got to do two things as a manager. You've got to be accountable for what you do and you've got to deliver. That's the punctuality again, deliver on your promises. So if you can follow the three Ps, if you can follow the ethics, then being professional as a manager well, it's as easy as that. Now, if you like this video, please mark it as a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, well then please uh, subscribe. But all that is now left for me to say is thanks very much for watching and bye for now.